Sun here, I'm a privacy and a security researcher and you're watching The Privacy Guides. In today's episode, we're taking a break of privacy and we're actually talking about computer batteries, specifically Mac batteries and if Apple is deliberately killing them so that we buy more computers. Uh, and I'll kind of explain why and we're gonna go, go down that rabbit hole and spoiler alert, I have a pretty powerful trick and there's reference material for it on the website which I'll link down there in the description that can allow you to potentially save your battery uh, lifespan quite a bit. So more on this later in the episode. So here's the backstory to this. Research says that batteries, lithium batteries specifically, have a better operating range when used between 20% and 80%. What that means is if you charge your laptop battery to 100%, and that applies to your iPhone as well, it is not good. It will lower its lifespan quite significantly. And there's a link to that research uh, on the website. What that also means is in a perfect scenario, and obviously nothing's perfect, we would discharge the battery to 20%, never lower, and charge it to 80%, never higher. Problem is, it's impossible to do this. Uh, and for that, I mean, Apple has released something uh, called optimized battery charging. Now, the problem is, uh, it does not work, or at least it hasn't worked on my computers. If you've had different results, please let me know down there in the comments. What I have noticed is uh, even though it's enabled, my battery always charges to 100% and always discharges to 0%, and that is just not good for its lifespan. And as you all know, changing a battery in an Apple or you know laptop or, or iPhone is a total pain in the butt. It's really expensive. For computers, it means you have to let it at the Apple store, and how are we supposed to do work without the computer? It's crazy. And there's another issue uh, which, which I haven't been able to solve for, and I was thinking optimized battery charging would help by stopping charging at 80%. I work here in the lab, and given computers nowadays have only two ports, I use a dock. And I really like my CalDigit dock, but the problem is it always powers the computer. What that means is my computer is chronically plugged in all the time. And my previous computer, a 2015 MacBook Pro before the M1, uh, its battery had become swollen uh, so much that it wouldn't even lay flat on the table. I read on iFixit that that kind of issue can lead to batteries catching fire or exploding, which kind of freaked me out. I called Apple and repairing it was like over a thousand bucks. So. In a nutshell, in ideal conditions, a battery would be used between 20 and 80%, uh, never over 20, uh, 80%, sorry. Uh, optimized battery charging, supposed to do this. It doesn't for me, let me know if it does for you. And as a result, my M1 MacBook Air, which I've used very gently in the studio, never draining its battery or anything crazy, is now at 80% or sorry, 89% capacity. And at 80, the battery needs to be serviced. And that freaks me out because it only has 50 charging cycles. Um, so in order to kind of help solve some of these things, a few ingenious people have noticed that there is some kind of a low level API of sorts that let you control the SMC controller of the computer that controls if the computer is charging, discharging, as some of you may know, USB-C has a lot of very fascinating properties, such as deciding if the host or the guest is charging which one, uh, you know, what's the maximum charging capacity of a specific USB-C cable, all kinds of crazy stuff uh, that is hidden and under Apple's control. Now, thankfully, there's some person who created an open source project that allow us to tap into some of that potential. And I will be explaining how that's done. And thanks to this open source project, we can actually have a chronically plugged Mac plugged into a dock that typically charges the computer. We can tell the computer to stop charging and discharge to 20%, which I believe will you know, greatly improve the lifespan of the battery and it will likely mitigate also the swollen issue. So I wanna share how that's done. There's a story on my website, it's not part of the Privacy Guides reference material because it's not really privacy related, but it goes down the rabbit hole, essentially explaining you know, why the battery should be used between 20 and 80 and all that good stuff. 
It also explains the swollen battery issue. And it also says, heads up, to contribute a project, please share cycle count, maximum capacity, and purchase date of your Mac in the comments of YouTube episodes. So please do so, it really helps. I have noticed that the same issue is present on my girlfriend's computer, and I expect it is the case for many of you as well. So please share your results on YouTube. I will share mine as the first comment. Uh, and essentially you wanna run this little command line here. If we run it, it will tell you 51. So that's the cycle count and 89% is the uh, maximum capacity of the battery. At 80, it has to be replaced. And also you can find your purchase date by going on checkcoverage.apple.com. Uh, so yeah, share this in the comments. Now, uh, caveats, uh, as always, if you wanna run those commands, there's a few tips here and also uh, heads up, use at your own risk. Those are non-documented APIs to the SMC of Apple Silicon Mac. So do not attempt this on a computer that is an M1 or M2. Um, and yeah, without further ado, uh, first step is you wanna install Xcode command line tools. That's pretty straightforward. It might take a little bit of time if your internet's not super fast. Then you wanna clone this repository. So I am going to go into the downloads folder, but you can do this really anywhere you want. Um, and I will clone the repository. I have little snitch, so I need to authorize it through the firewall. Uh, then I wanna go into that specific folder uh, and I wanna type make. What this is doing is it's compiling this little SMC command line utility. Uh, and as you saw, it really took a second here and then you wanna essentially uh, copy it as root. Uh, so yeah, don't look at my password here. Ah trying to do it fast for some reason, but your camera's not even seeing it. Um, and then we wanna create this little discharge convenience script. So I'm gonna walk you through what it is really fast. Essentially, this is just some like bold red and normal font stuff. Uh, and what it does is it says the target is 20%. Uh, it will run this magical command, which is the one that, as I mentioned, is not documented by Apple. So this is kind of like a little bit of Apple hacking, I guess, in a way. Uh, and then it says discharging battery to target percent, so 20. And then it watches uh, every minute where uh, the percentage is at. And when it's at 20, it just stops. Uh, one interesting caveat that you should be aware of is if the computer goes to sleep, it resets this as well. So just be aware of this. So what I use this for is if I'm working for the whole day and I wanna make sure that my battery is discharged to 20% to help mitigate uh, swollen batteries and extend lifespan of the battery. Well, I'm gonna run this in the background and forget about it. So if ever I put the computer to sleep, I am aware that it will kind of reset it automatically, which is good because you don't want your battery to go below 20% or whatever. Okay, so you wanna take this whole thing here, uh, starting at C and you run this crazy command and that's just creating the script. And then you wanna make that script uh, executable and once all of this is done, we can go back to uh, you know the, the home directory and all you have to do really is run discharge.sh and it says discharging to 20%. Uh, so as you can see here, it is now on battery. If I were to plug this computer in, it would still be on battery. Actually, let me just do this so you see I'm not lying. So if I unplug this here and I plug it, oh, I'm not, it's very stupid what I just did. I cannot unplug this, damn it, son. It needs to be plugged in because I'm recording the screen. Um, okay, let me just plug it back in then. Okay, so we're back here. So if I take the dock cable here and I plug it in, nothing happens, right? Now I'm gonna allow this here and I'm not sure what's gonna happen with it connecting to the dock, but okay, so far so good. And if I hit Control C, as you can see here, uh, it's, you know, source battery. If I do control C, it just did tung and we can see that it's charging up here. And if I run this again, you can see that it's no longer charging and it's now on battery mode, which is super cool. So this allows one to have more control over our batteries. So let's go back to this kind of clickbaity title is Apple deliberately killing our batteries. A lot of people believe, including myself, that Apple should let us, the user, decide when the battery is charging or not, given charging it nonstop, having it at 100% all the time because it's plugged into a dock, 
can lead to swollen battery issues and is really bad for lithium batteries. Why can't the user decide to stop charging at 80% if obviously the technology is available because we just did it. We were able to tell the computer to stop charging. I believe Apple should let us decide and also it should let us know every now and then that it's a good idea to discharge the battery to extend its life and kind of prevent swollen batteries. But no, Apple does not tell us this or allow us to do this. Instead, they enjoy selling more computers. So that's all I have for you today. Uh, if you liked this episode, share it with people you know. I think everyone should know this. And together we can put pressure on Apple and have this fixed. So yeah, see you soon. Bye.